What is a crack everyone? It's Nathan here, aka the Rambling Kern, and head instructor of Kern School of Combat. So, anyone who knows me and my approach to teaching martial arts will know that I'm a big fan of sparring and pressure testing techniques to ensure that they work when we need them most. Um, a quote that was given to me by uh, Mark Denny of the Dog Brothers is that if you see it taught, you see it fought. So what I mean by that is any technique that I teach in class is something that I will use in sparring and I've ensured that works correctly. Um, often that means either figuring out why it's not working for me or pressure testing the technique to make sure that I'm doing it in the correct way when I need it most in sparring. So as a result, having the correct tools for sparring is essential. And within my group, we have a large variety of sparring methods that we use starting out from very, very light contact all the way up to full contact and um, using the likes of these uh, rattan sticks. Um, so one of the really important tools for us are our padded sticks. So we have been on a quest for many years to find a distributor that we could regularly buy padded sticks from that would also fit the criteria that we needed until we were introduced to these. Uh, these are Rod's Sticks, or ODDS. I will leave a link in the description to uh, their page. Uh, I was first shown these by Bernard Lilly, the uh, head instructor of the Doyle style. So a big thank you to him for putting me onto these. Um, I am in no way affiliated or sponsored by these sticks. Um, and I will be doing a full review in a few months once I have tested these out and kind of seen how they hold up. But Initial impressions are fantastic. Um, like I said, there's a few kind of criteria that are really important for us um, and for my group especially. So one of the big ones is that we have a padded stick that is padded on both ends. Uh, so within the Doyle style, your stick punches, um, obviously you're going to hit with both ends. And obviously within the Antrim style, there are certain techniques where we use the, um, what will be the handle portion of it as well. So it's really important to have both ends padded and also to have it where it's not overly padded where I can basically still close my fingers around the stick when I grip it. And you don't want something that's so big, especially if you have gloves on that don't quite close fully, where you can't close your hand because the stick will just pop clean out your grip, uh, which is not ideal when you're sparring. And the other thing as well is that it's a bit of flex, uh, not too much, but a decent little bit um, for when you're grappling and other techniques like that, that you're not um, putting too much pressure on your partner, especially when you're uh, first getting used to grappling with a stick involved, um, it's good to have something that has a little bit of flex in it. Um, so some of the options that we've used in the past um, are this uh, and these are fantastic. Um, however, since the great sickness of 2020, um, these have been much more difficult to make. So what I mean by that is these are a piece of rattan wrapped in pipe insulation with a uh, hockey grip tape over it. Now, these work phenomenally. They are the same weight, basically, as the rattan that we use, just with a slightly lighter, thinner piece of rattan. The issue is the rattan does eventually break, and when the rattan breaks, due to the transport issues around the world at the moment, these are very difficult to replace. So the issue then is, um, you basically can't replace them. And also, the padding starts to wear thin, and as you can see, the padding actually will kind of come undone, which you can see up the top of the stick here. Also, with repetitive hits, the padding pretty much wears away. So as you can hear, this doesn't really offer a huge amount of padding after a while. This is kind of a good thing because it makes you a bit more wary of the stick itself. Um, so you're a bit more respectful of it in sparring. But you know, it's not ideal and we can't really like mass produce these, but it does give me a stick at the right length that I need and it is suitable for Irish stick fighting. However, um, it does, you know, due to the way things are, very difficult to replace. The other option then that we were using for a while are these, and these are the uh, Spez or uh, Go Now um, yeah, padded swords. Now, good flex in them, um, good and stiff, Problems are twofold on these though. They are too short, so you don't have the third grip to use. And more importantly, they have this solid handle. Now for uh, sword techniques and the likes, 
superb, a uh, good solid grip even with uh, padded gloves on. Gives you a real good uh, secure grip on this, especially this kind of braided um, grip that it has. But these are about twice the weight of my other padded sticks. Um, and they hit quite a bit of a, a bit of a wallop. Um, you know, even though they do have good soft padding on them, um, you know, it's, it's kind of the same as a boxing glove. If there's enough force behind it, it's still gonna knock you out, even though it's a, a big soft pillow. Um, obviously the other issue then is this, this solid rubber handle. If you were to reverse this and crack someone with it, that would do serious damage. It's just a big solid lump of rubber. So again, not really ideal for what we do. And that's where we come to these the rod sticks. Um, so uh, as you would have seen, the weight of these um, much lighter. So I'll be curious to see how that reacts. Um, however, uh, there is obviously the warning that comes with these, try not to use them against uh, metal mesh and masks. Totally understandable, you know, the best padded stick won't really stand up particularly well to hitting steel, they're not designed for that, but for safety we will be. But the one great thing about these is that we have a supplier we can go to for more. And so far they have been an absolute pleasure to deal with. Um, they offered us a selection of colors. My group voted for this olive green color. And uh, I think it looks quite uh, quite fancy. Um, and this uh, three foot length is what we went with, um, with padding on both ends, so there's no handle. But they will do custom sizes, lengths, shapes and colors. So if that's something you want, um, great option for it. They do ship from the UK. Now I know with Brexit, there can be some customs issues, so just something to keep in mind. However, they really helped through the entire process. It was a huge um, uh, effort on their end to get these done and shipped out and made the whole process super easy. Um, so big thank you to them for that. Um, like I said, in no way sponsored by them, but I will leave their link in the description. And in a few months, once we've tested these out, I will do a full in-depth review with how they've held up. Um, they are basically a padded stick um, with a um, cloth outer uh, stitched on one end with a seam up the middle and just kind of fold in the other. Um, I like the little tape down the middle so you know where your, your middle point is. Um, really ideal for what we do. Now I know there is loads of other varieties of padded sticks that people use for uh, Irish stick fighting. Um, however, there's kind of issues with uh, I have with different versions of those. Um, I know one that's very popular within the Doyle community is kind of the uh, Pugil like sticks. So uh, anyone who's seen American Gladiator, you know, you have kind of the cotton earbud uh, padded in here, padded in here. They're great, but they're more just suitable for the Doyle stuff. If you hit with the middle of the stick, obviously you've still got a hard piece that's kind of doing someone in the head. Not really too great. And obviously then for us doing the Antrim sort of material as well, you still got a big uh, pad of stick in there. Um, I know within some other circles they will use your basic rattan stick and just pad the last kind of third of it, a uh, third to a quarter, and just pad that up, um, which is great for kind of uh, kind of a screamer and Arnie style techniques where you're mainly hitting with that end. But for us, where we're using both ends and often the middle, it's not really ideal. So genuinely think these are going to be uh, an absolute winner for us and having a regular supplier we can go to to get more is a huge bonus and um, because you will break out of sticks it's just part of the game so uh yeah if you have any thoughts and um, any questions about these do let me know um you can leave a comment down below if you'd like to support my work and help me uh, test out more kit you'll find my patreon in the description as well and um, i'm also taking video suggestions from users on there and we'll be uh, dealing with some uh, videos on the topics in that they've suggested in the coming weeks so um i do hope you enjoyed and uh, once again thank you for watching i really do appreciate the support that everyone's been given um channel's gone phenomenally I'm really really uh, thankful to everyone so once again thank you very much and salam